Let's see. see. I'm coming for holidays. How about school? What are you doing in school? I'm fine. I'm preparing for my international general certificate of secondary examination. IGCX exam. Stay of my school, 49 school. Number 16 Udon Sorry, Piano Fort. Wow, let's go in. Tell me more about this school. Fortune Schools comprises Craig, Nazareth primary and secondary classes. We have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. We have God-fearing teachers, motivated and highly qualified. We impact godly character into the life of children. Admission is in progress into their both classes. Interested candidates can pick the forms in the school's admission office from Mondays through Fridays between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day. Second entrance examination date, 10th October 2020. Third entrance examination date, 24th October 2020. For more inquiries, please call 080-270-25262. We for two school! We for two school! Fortune Schools, excellence through hard work. Some decades ago, on August 31st, the star dance was displayed and a queen was born, Pastor Mrs. Augustina Emanuel Epen, a philanthropist, dedicated servant of God, wife, mother and more. The occasion of her birthday was celebrated on August 31st, 2020 in Grand Style, even as it coincided with the official opening of the accessories department of the already established fashion outfit, Our Heritage Clothing, where she's the chief executive officer. It was indeed a graceful occasion. The day started with prayers and a brief testimony about the celebrant was taken by Pastor Mrs. Angela Archon. <laughs> MC of location, the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. I, I just want to thank God for Augustine Akpan. I am not uh, very good in, uh, you know, diplomacy. I, 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 I try not to say the things that I, the way I feel too hard because I will be too direct. In other words, I try to say as best as I can the truth. And I'm not trying to patronize you. There is no need for it. I will just say what I know. I met this lady many years ago. Um, but I knew her from afar. Because I recognized her because anytime I'm in a place, she will walk up to me and greet me. So I took note of her. Quiet, shy, simple. I would just greet her and some of her children and my, my own children schooled in the Central Country School. So I just admire one, her beauty, two, her simplicity. Three, her gentleness and her consistent greeting of me. <laughs> you know, but we were not close. Along the line, I found out that sometimes she would send me very expensive gifts. And I would take them as well. But when you see her, you don't talk too much. Because when she greets you, nod her head, cross her hand this way, she won't talk again. She'll enter mute. But one day, this is my pastor, Pastor Silvanus Owen Okafia. Please, let's celebrate him again brought her to me and took her hand and gave to me and said, Miss Asha, I, I believe that Miss Augustina has a lot of prophetic grace. I would like to ask you to mentor her. I said, she's your member. I said, yeah, she's still my member. She'll be my member, but you have grace that I think that she could school her. Uh, when your pastor gives you that kind of responsibility, your head is correct. Somebody say correct. correct. So I drew closer to her. And I want to say, Pastor, since you handed her hand to me, she has never insulted me. She has never disrespected me. She has never, you know, disrespect what I say. Sometimes we fight. We do. Uh, but at the end, she respects me. Augustine Akron began was so close, long before I met her. And when she came into my life, she's one person I don't know where they buy to have fabrics. I'm saying this, don't be jealous in case she doesn't do that for you. <laughs> High point of the event was when guests moved to the accessories department to witness the official opening, which was done by Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Zakafia, supported by Pastor Mrs. Ashon. So wherever you are, stretch, if you cannot reach the building, touch some part of it and just pray. Let's dedicate this 
business to go. I'm going to ask Mrs. Sachon to pray. After that, uh, Mrs. Patel has to take. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the gift of today. We bless you, O oh God, for your daughter, Pastor Mrs. Augustine Alpham. For the day she was born in her mother's womb, and for the day she was brought forth. We thank you that her name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. She's accepted in the Beloved. She has the mark of Jesus Christ, of whom she publicly declared before the world. We thank you for the gift of talents. We thank you for passion. We thank you for the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit in her life. Today we stand as her pastors, her sisters, brothers, friends, her lovers, her clients, to witness this accessory shop that you have given to her for the prosperity and the blessing of the people, the church, Akwaibu State, and Nigeria in large. The Father, Amen. Amen. The Son, Amen. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Pastor Mrs. Augustina Akpan, the Bet the Celebrant and Chief Executive Officer of Our Heritage Clothing, took her invited guest on a tour around the newly opened accessories department. She took time to school them on all items displayed. In this other part, we have different kinds of accessories. Different kind of, you can use it to make earrings, you can use it for pastels, you can use it for like what my pastor is wearing now. So we can, we can decorate my pastor by using the black color. Here comes the very special moment where the bed the celebrant gorgeously danced in with so much joy displayed. She was adorned in an impressively detailed red attire. <laughs> was done graciously. While guests were treated to sumptuous meals and exotic drinks, the celebrants danced alongside friends in thanksgiving to God. In a vote of thanks, Pastor Mrs. Augustina Emmanuel Akman poured out her heartfelt gratitude to everyone who honored her by coming out to celebrate with her. I'm so excited. Why? Number one, I'm alive to see this day. It's my birthday. Hallelujah. Number two, I return all glory and honor to this God. Because when a robber came into this place two years ago, they wanted me out of business. But this faithful God hold me close. They packed almost everything to empty the whole hall. But to the glory of this God that I serve, I told, I posted on my social media page, and I said, you ended up taking what grace brought. You did not take the grace. That grace that is available will bring more. And today, I am standing here as a testimony that that grace is working. That grace is still at work. It's working in me and on me. Hallelujah. Amen. I give thanks to God that I am alive to witness this day. It's not the way they plan it. It turned out to be for my own good. Because when God wants to launch you out, He allows you to be tempted. And when the temptation comes, I did not see it as it, it was there to kill me or to destroy me. I saw it as another level. 
and because I believe that my next level is yet to come. Though I lost a lot, but I did not see it at anything. I moved forward. Today I give thanks to God because the accessory room was only being delayed, but has not been taken away. Pastor Mrs. Angela Ashon, Dr. and Mrs. Sylvanus Okafia, Mrs. Godwin Afangide, and the First Lady of Ikotekwene Local Government Area, Mrs. Esther Etim, and other dignitaries were in attendance. The Cradle TV show had some short, insightful interviews with a few. She's a friend. She, she's someone that um, she's not surprised when anything happened to her. Like, her belief in God, her faith in God is something so that I help appreciate me. so much. She makes my dresses. She's fantastic. I can't remember giving her a style. I can't remember the last time she took my measurement. It's just, it's just a phone call. Anytime I call, she will deliver. She will tell me, I know what to give you. I know what to want. She's someone who believes in God so much. No matter what happens to her, she knows that God allows her to happen. It doesn't take her by surprise. And whatever she does, she will try as much as possible to hear from God before she takes a step. Our movement and um, our presence in Ireland has made us know the kind of all life and function she has. So today on her birthday, I, in the interview, on behalf of all the fitness I wish her a lovely birthday. I pray that all that she has lost in the past year.